Thanks. No problem. I do like this moment where he reaches for a hand and is like, oh, wait, you tried to beat me up last time. I don't, is it okay? Yeah, it's cool. All right, we're good. His name's Kano. He was an informant in our Black Dragon investigation. Violin music. Time to get Big serious. Big-time arms dealers. Turns out he was their leader, giving us the runaround. A lot of our guys got killed because of him. So that's not a costume? Your actual military? I on the prize, Johnny Cage. Get out. I am as surprised so you know as he is, stuff, so right? I can forgive Raiden his called in the cavalry. Raiden? No idea who you're talking about. <sighs> Damn. He can't be far. It's not like you can tell him. have to wait. Anything. I yeah, that's pretty bad if you're a thunder John. god and but nobody right now knows I've got who you are. To take Just care of. saying. My CO is locked up on this island somewhere. I have to find him. I'm pretty sure that both special forces SF and, for that matter, CO are not terms that actual special forces people would use. Anyway. So the unfortunate fact of the truth is that I am a really bad Sonya player. I apologize for this, and we'll try to muddle through the best I can. Jax. I'm gonna really suck at first because I'll be showing off special moves. But Jax, you in here? I just, yeah, she's not my character for a lot of reasons. So here's Sonya's voice actress reacting dramatically to the sight of her special forces partner, bound, imprisoned, and tortured in a subterranean dungeon. Take it away. Oh my God. <laughs> she just sounds annoyed. What did they do to you? Run, girl. You're much too young, girl. Oh, it's too late. That old Chinese pervert Shang Tsung has found you, and now the plot will never let, let you go, go from its evil clutches. Tournament. On the contrary, you are very much a contestant. You will face Sub-Zero of the Lin Kuei clan of assassins. This is definitely one of the cooler introductions of a character in Mortal Kombat. No pun intended. Now you will feel death's cold embrace. Round I might just be biased because I play fight. him so much, but it's, it's really cool. Okay, so, um, yeah, first off, block low against Sub-Zero because uh, he can do that. And uh, then when you block low, he will uh, do that overhead. Wait, that was... that was... I don't understand what happened. Okay, so, move. Uh, I can't show them off because I'm frozen. Thank you. Ring toss, back forward two. That. Um, as you see, it's not the best thing. You don't really want to projectile trade with the zero in the best of circumstances. It's not a bad projectile just because it comes out so fast, but uh, it's not really. You can't keep using it like to, you can't make so many pressure. It's very defensive by design. Uh, she's also got kiss, which is down back one. Uh, it's kind of useless. Because I shouldn't say kind of. It's useful if you like to do combos that are long, because you can use it to continue combos. But it's so slow that you really can't use it. Risk using it outside of a combo. So I find it has very limited usefulness, and I do not use it very much of the time. Oh yeah, enhance ring toss. Shoots two of them. Whoop de doo. It's. I mean, if you need to seal them around with it, fine. But otherwise. Uh, <laughs> yes, there's time in the subterranean dungeon. So, uh, whatever this is. We don't even know how she got where she got. Her throws. So I won! Yeah. Yay! I'm so amazing. Her throws Round have a great deal fight. of recovery on them. Her throws are pretty decent just because of how fast they are and they don't throw you too far. Like, I can just run up and get right back in there again. Um. Dive kick. That didn't work very well. Nor did that. Why? <laughs> I'm every player online who plays me. That's hilarious. Yeah, that. Uh, so that block. It's a very useful move because it is very quick when it starts up, and it also uh, can combo like that. So that was a really bad. Move. So yeah, that's where a lot of her uh, offense is based off of his dive kicks. Uh, cartwheel, you just saw me do there. I'll do it again. Uh, that was not a good time to do cartwheel, but you saw it. Another very important move in your arsenal because of uh, the fact that you can combo after it. I'll try to. Uh, it's minus three on block, and I'll get to what that means in a sec. Oh, yeah, Sonya's uppercut, also seven frames, so it's very good. Uh, 
Seven four is also incredible, and I'll get to do more about that later. But just to show you, shitty damage. But look at how that range, that range on that thing is ridiculous. Uh, a couple more useless things. You got air throws. Uh, It's very rare that you want to actually throw out a naked air throw because uh, usually the jump kick has better properties and you can always chain an air throw off of a jump kick for any character that has one. Uh, most of the time you'll be, you can also do a dive kick chain if you want to, but you can't combo off of that if you do it. Come on. Again, if you blocked it, it just doesn't do it. And the same thing with the dive kick, by the way. If you're, yeah, there it goes. If you block the dive kick, if he blocks your dive kick, you won't continue with the combo string that you'd already buffered. So, um, it's safer. A uh, couple of things you don't tend to use very often. Arc kick, down back four, and leg grab, back forward four. I use leg grab a lot, but you're not really supposed to. Come on. Uh, I could have won that. Oh well. See if I. It's leg grab. See, that's Round that was my mistake. I'm still using leg grab. Um, let me do the enhanced. Enhanced. Uh, frag. Enhanced air drop. Looks like this. No, it doesn't. Except for this. But that's, that's what it looks like. It does extra damage, but you can't combo off of it, so there's uh, generally no real reason to want to do that. I don't even. Enhanced kiss is. Like, it starts faster or something. Um, 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 enhanced art kick. Also, nobody cares, and I can't show it off anymore. Enhanced leg grab, no one cares about either. It just does more damage and looks pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> I just had it blocked, and I completely wasted that bar, so it's really not a good investment most of the time. Uh, and the damage scaling. Is, uh, so, really so uh, I feel like there's something. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm trolling everybody. Uh, there's, she has another thing called military stance, where you can go into it down back two, and then from there you can do a bunch of characters have things. Like this. Uh, then you can do another. You get you get access to another set of normals. So like uh, this is a low hitting thingy, and you see also whenever I do this, she gains meaning. You can do this. Uh, like, that's not right. you do this. That's a little shoulder bump for getting through, um, you know, in on people who are spamming projectiles at you. Uh, or this is probably the most damaging move in saying Sony Barcelona without meter. Uh, that's a good hit. Uh, there's a follow up if you press, and that's the throw button. If you press 1, 2, then she does a follow up attack that makes it 50%. There we go. Uh, and that has a lot of uh, important streamer mix-up game, which I'll get to. Yeah, I mean, this is my problem. This is one of the reasons why I'm not really good with Sonya because uh, a lot of her pressure comes off of dive kicks, and I cross myself up when I do the jumps, so I, I get the input. Um, there we go. So, uh, I need to talk about frame advantage to explain why Sonya's down four is so ridiculously awesome. If you, uh, if you have a move that is frame advantage, that means that it has plus frame. Actually, no, I'll beat him and then I'll talk about it and then I'll start the video. That was close. Um, anyway, down, what you want to do in general when you do, uh, unlike, actually, no, I'll show off the x-ray. Right, okay. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Behold the power of armor. <laughs>
done. We're leaving. <laughs> that was fantastic. Stand okay, in my way so, and I'll kick your a challenge. Frame advantage. When you block an attack, or no. frame advantage talks about the you amount of time it takes you to recover so. from a move versus you the amount of time it takes too? your opponent to Fine recover from me. being hit or blocking that move. So if you have frame advantage, Fart. that means that you recover first, which means that you can continue your pressure. There you go. I talk about this in the description of the first video. Uh, so go read it. So a lot of, as you see, this is a low attack. I can just throw this out forever. Oh, well, obviously not forever, or he'll do. <laughs> Object lesson right there. This is called a wake up. Uh, no, it's not. That was me not waking up uh, at all. So, it's usually good. The reason why this is good is because it's low, and then you can follow up with the low because you can cancel out of D4 into any move like cartwheel. Or uh, military stance. And if you do that forward one, that's a low attack, so you can just do more. You can. You have a low chain, really, that you can do. And then cartwheel, which. If what will often happen, unless they're looking for it, they'll block low this. Uh, sorry. Oh, I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it completely wrong. There, that. And then get hit by the. If they block that. If they block that successfully, it's very likely that they will. Um, screw up and not block the cartwheel, which sets you up for combo fun. So it's a pretty powerful reset to use on the end of a combo to just do 1-1-2 military stance uh, because then they have to guess where to block. It's not fun. And then once, you, I mean, obviously once you hit the cartwheel, uh, you can just do whatever you want, as you see there. So. Uh, that is real. So yeah, down four is ridiculous. But even if you don't do that stuff, I mean, look, at, I'm completely shutting down the offense this way. So if he decides to jump in, I just uppercut. If he wants to zone at distance, I can do that too. Hey, that was supposed to be me throwing you, jerk. Raiden isn't a great example because he can—he's one of the few people who can actually legitimately escape this because he can teleport. Because he's a jerk. Nah. All right, that's enough. See, and that is the um, double-edged sword of Sonya's X-ray, which is why it's not always great to be high on. But it's not bad. Um, because it has armor pretty much all the way through, and it's also one of the few X-rays that you can combo into and out of. So uh, it's just that the damage is really not there, and it's pretty easy to avoid if you're looking for it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's so dumb, simple. Just doing down four and down and down two will uh, screw with a lot of people just by itself. And then if you decide to stay at distance, fine. You've got a zoning tool. It's not a great one, but if they stay at that distance, you can keep them there. You don't know how to play raid in the computer. Soon. See, that 2 1 is so short, it comes out with 7 frames, Enough that with the cartwheel, you have minus 3 block frames. Uh, if, if that's blocked, then what? you're at minus 3, the cartwheel. So if you do a 7 frame attack, that means that the opponent has. Uh, can interrupt it with a 10 frame attack, but the opponent has to know that a 7 frame attack is coming so that he can find the appropriate most for instance uh down ones are most of the time six frames so when you block you one uh or you allowed so when you block something that's zero on block it means that far. you and your opponent can mash d ones at the same time and one of you Come might on, win so usually that will be player one that's because order. that's just that and that's one of the so really legitimately stupid now. things about this fighting Special engine is that it gives uh, frame trade priority to the first player which is it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Anyway, uh, if you... By order of Shang Tsung, All right, no one so if you island. block I don't that... I, I totally forgot where I was going with this. Uh, and we're going to break Fire. for the next video. So uh, that should be fun.